Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. Today we are going to talk about Egypt. A lot of us don't know anything about Egypt. When you talk of Egypt, Cairo, our mind quickly go to those days where the uh, Israelites were suffering, when they, they captured them as a slavery. That is where our mind goes. We quickly go to the Bible that, ah, those Egyptians in the Bible. See, there are a lot of things you don't know about Egyptians. This, um, my experience in this place is experience that I will never forget. It's something that I will never forget in my life. Egypt is good for those children like uh, the butters, those children in Nigeria or in the other countries that say, hey, please, I don't want you to step on my foot. Ah, I don't want you to. Ah, you stay my hand. Oh, I will tell my mommy for you. All oh, those I will tell me, my, tell my mommy for you. That, those are the type of children that Egypt is good for. If they come to this land, they will be trained. Egypt trained children. Train them to be active, to be more useful for themselves. Any child that comes to Egypt, Egypt is not for babies anyway, but if you eventually come to Egypt and you have a privilege to go to another country or you go back to your country or probably you, anything, anything you put your hands upon, let me tell you, you will prosper because there is no, in as far you come to this land, you spend one year, two years and you walk, no country you will not survive. Yeah, because you will not be lazy. People will like you. Egypt will help you to build your system, to train you well, to give you home training. Home training. <laughs> I say home training, I mean real home training. And one thing about this place is we help one another. Yes, we help one another. If you don't have money, no, we are not going to ask one error from you. All what you need is your passport. I'm doing this because there are so many people are saying, hey, what are you doing in Egypt? Egypt is Arab country. Arab country is like, uh, they will not allow you to go to church. They will not allow you to do this. Let me tell you, we have churches here and everyone is serving their God. They are not disturbing. They are not disturbing. And uh, I would like you to ask me a question. Whatever you want to know about Egypt, whatever you want to know concerning this place, how they are, anything, anything, anything. You are free to ask, and I will answer your question. So, what I'm saying about Egypt, Egypt has really made me who I am today, and I'm really proud of it. I'm really proud of it. Uh, if you know me before, you will know that uh, I'm not a fan of this thing I'm doing, but uh, <laughs> Egypt has built me, made me to have courage to do whatever I wish to do, <laughs> more than my expectation. And uh, though it's an Arab country, my next video, I'm going to tell you uh, the reason I love Muslims. I'm going to tell you the reason I love Muslims. I love Muslims so much. I love them a Christian, but I love Muslims. I'm going to narrate for you from the first to the end what Muslims have done for me, what I've achieved for Muslims that even a Christian have not achieved anything, stuff like that. Everyone has their own destiny. Maybe my destiny relies on Muslims, so don't quote me wrong. If Muslims, if Muslims have been bad to you, if Christians have been nice to you, that is for your own side. My own side, I'm telling you my own view, my own experience with Muslims. So I'm going to narrate it for you, so that you can learn from it. So you, can, so you can begin to examine yourself and know who is involved with you and who is not involved with you. So, as for Egypt today, there is peace, there is love, there is joy, there is success. Everything is working fine and everything is turning around for our good. We give God the glory for standing by us and not letting us down. So if your dream is to visit Egypt or school in Egypt or come for tourism or come for any other way, for any program or you are free, just put it in the comment section. Don't fail to contact me. Put it there and I'm going to meet up to you. Egypt is a place, uh, like as I said, they will just they will bring you for zero fee. When you get here, you pay back. When you work, you pay back. Not when you don't have a job. When you get a job, that is when you will pay the money back to the person that brings you. You see how easy it is, how helpful it is. If not that, where on earth will I get such amount to travel down to Egypt? I don't know where I'm going to get it. Because the job I'm doing there in Nigeria, 15, 15K, or 16, 5, what, how am I going to save it to get up to 500,000 to travel down to, to even relocate? So, and uh, how I got the connection also, I need to talk about it. Because 
if something is working for your good, you have to let others know so that when they are taking that step, they will learn from you. I pray God will help us in Jesus' name. And this little advice will help someone. We help someone, yes. And the most, uh, lastly, before you go to any country, please ask questions. A lot of people are not asking questions. That is causing confusion here. A lot of people are not, uh, they don't care. I just want to travel. I just want to travel. It's affecting a lot of people here right now. So ask question. Know very well what you are going to do. So if you want to know what we are doing here, yeah, I'm going to drop a video. I'm going to drop a video. I'm going to put the link here anyway. I'm going to put the link so on the end screen. Watch what we are doing here. I make the video not talk. It's a drama video. It's just a, a message. I use it to pass a message concerning our work in Egypt. So that's why I said if you are lazy, you can't come to Egypt. If you are lazy, you come to Egypt. Egypt will build you. So I'm going to drop it. So please watch it and see our work is for Shagala. So you will see what we are doing here. There are other jobs also for those that are educated. You see the way I'm speaking my English. I'm just putting ABC together to make it one. So I'm not highly educated that I can work in their office or work, teach in their school or even work in the hospital. So we, our work is grade by grade according to your level. So every level is here. If you don't hear English yourself, come. Egypt will help you. They will teach you Arabic. You will learn Arabic and begin to make progress yourself. But Egypt will be for Bumu people. You have to be sensitive. So I'm waiting for your questions. Just drop your questions below and I'm going to answer you. And if you have not subscribed to my channel, please, I just want you to just click that red button below. That red one. It's like they have changed it to black one. Just look at it. You will just see the one they put subscribe. Sub, sub, sub. Sub, sub. I will not leave here except you sub, sub. Except you sub, sub. Just sub, sub right now. And the good God will continue to uphold you, to bless you, and to lift you higher. Once again, I'm going to bring a program here very soon, which is going to be interactive program, question and answer. If you got the answer, you win the prize. Me, that is me for you. I just feel like there are people that truly need assistance. Even if it is a little thing, at least let them achieve. It's, it's good. It's better. It will make them to be happy. Being you, they, will, they are not wasting. They are not wasting their data. They are, they are not wasting their time. They are learning at the same time. They are achieving from, something from you. So I pray God give me the strength and the grace to be able to put this together as I plan it to make it work. In Jesus' name. Won't you say amen for me? <laughs> Thank you all. I love you all from the depth of my heart. And I'm saying a great goodbye. Don't forget, I'm bringing another video of how I got this connection because opportunity comes they say but once I almost lose it but God just see just mercy for me I see mercy <laughs> I see mercy so I will tell you next time